Willie Mullins seals historic 100 Cheltenham Festival. Trainer Willie Mullins claimed a historic 100 Cheltenham Festival victory as his son Patrick won the champion bumper on Jasmine Vox. It sealed a treble on Wednesday for the Irishman, who is the first person to post a century of wins at the festival. Patrick was greeted by a huge roar as he returned on the 9-2 winner. Whoever dreamt any trainer, never mind me, could do it, said a delighted Mullins after securing his sixth victory of the 2024 festival. He had been denied the landmark in the Queen Mother Champion chase when favorite El Fabiola was pulled up in a race won by Captain Guinness. Mullins had earlier reached 99 victories by a Ballyburn and facto file. The 67-year-old is out on his own for festival victories, with Nicky Henderson his nearest challenger on 73 wins. His first big Cheltenham triumph came with tourist attraction in 1995, and he is almost certain to be the week's letting trainer for the 11th time in the last 14 years. Captain Guinness claims shock Cheltenham triumph check out the latest results and race cards extraordinary stuff. The Mullins Milestone F Cheltenham big screen marked Mullins achievement image source, Reuters image caption. The Cheltenham Big Screen's Mark Mullins achievement wo travels on the meeting's opening two days brought Mullins to the milestone. While top cricketers might give an extravagant wave of the bat to the pavilion on reaching a century, Mullins marked his historic ton by holding his trilby aloft with a wide smile. The son of trainer Paddy Mullins, who guided the brilliant Merdon run to an unprecedented champion hurdle Gold Cup double in the 1980s, Willie has reached new levels of success is gentle charm and ability to recruit leading owners and top bloodstock agents, willingness to experiment, and the top team in the background have all contributed to his achievements. Patrick is a key part of the setup, with Willie's wife Jackie running things behind the scenes and leading former jockeys Ruby Walsh and David Carey among advisors. It's huge for them. I think they are probably going to enjoy it more than I will. It's extraordinary stuff, he said. His remarkable tally can be put into perspective when you consider it is more than double the number of victories achieved by Paul Nichols, who is third on the all-time Cheltenham list. A 13th victory in the bumper was a fitting triumph as he has always targeted this race for younger horses. His willingness to expand always amazed me, said Walsh. It's only ever going in one direction with Willie. Even to this day, he will start his entries with the bumper horses. That's not because he loves bumpers, it's because he is always looking to the future.